Hey guys, it's Jackie, your reluctant housewife. Um, I thought I would just do a regular video with my iPhone in my living room and my cozies because that's what's up right now. Um, I'm here taking care of my cat Blue who had major, major surgery. So having some time home with him has been really incredible. Um, his sister Ella is missing having her mommy all to herself while <laughs> Blue was in the hospital. But um, everyone's doing good here and all awesome. So I've been putting out some articles from Reluctant Housewife on how to kind of combat Corona and stay inside and all kinds of ways that we're trying to like figure out how life's going to be now. So I thought I would start with cabin fever, <laughs> which uh, most of us are probably starting to feel, uh, especially if you're by yourself, which I am. Uh, it's me and the cats <laughs> for reals. Yikes. Um, so cabin fever is real. Um, for those of you, you probably work nine to five jobs. You're always at work and you don't know what it feels to have like huge chunks of time off. Whereas people who work in entertainment on TV shows or movies, which is me, uh, we're used to having really long hiatuses where we're like, well, I have, you know, eight weeks off now, or depending on if you pick up the next show, it just, uh, <laughs> a lot of time off and you get kind of used to it. However, uh, we're used to going outside and like being able to run errands and see friends. So all of us are kind of in the same boat right now, whether you're kind of used to it or you're like, this is insane. So I have a couple of little hints or advice pieces to give you about battling cabin fever. Okay, so uh, this is so much, so much easier. I love sitting at my desk, like reading the article. Um, you can read the article at yourreluctanthousewife.com or click the link in my bio, either with Jackie Brubaker or with Your Reluctant Housewife. So first thing is FaceTime like this, except you're on the other line and like talking to me and we can see each other. Um, a lot of girls don't like FaceTime. I'm just gonna tell you that right now, guys. Like you're always like, let's FaceTime. And we're like, I don't think so. Um, no, because most of us are never wearing makeup, like ever. Like I never wear makeup if I'm not actually having to be somewhere that I need to be presentable, like work. So I'm not just home with like makeup on, which I have makeup on right now, it's just light. And so when you wanna FaceTime with us, not only are we not wearing makeup, but we are also in like terrible lighting, most likely. And angles are weird and it's strange. But in the time of Corona, FaceTime is kind of an incredible invention. That way you can stay in touch with people. You can actually see another human and be like, there's your face and you're making facial movements. And I recognize that because I'm also human. And you know, it's a really great way to stay in touch. Um, Zoom. So I've never done Zoom, but a lot of my friends are inviting me to Zoom parties. And I think that's amazing. So you can actually go to like a virtual party and get to know people that you don't know and like drink wine and like talk about Corona or anything else other than Corona, which might be really nice. <laughs> so that's really cool. And Instagram live. So my yoga studio, Yoga Vibe, right there, I'm just gonna put a link. Uh, yoga Vibe in West Hollywood, they also have location in Las Feliz. Uh, they're amazing right now. They're actually doing live streaming classes twice a day. And thank the Lord, because <laughs> all of us are sitting on our couches, drinking wine and eating chips way too much. So we kind of need some activity and it needs to be indoors. So Instagram live, either watching someone and interacting that way, or actually doing your own Instagram live is really kind of fun. Like we don't all need to be influencers to like, I have a live coming up. Like I have Instagram, watch me. Like, I mean, sure. If you're an influencer, like, cool. Like <laughs> I, I guess I'm <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, the doing an Instagram live could be kind of fun to just be like, Hey friends, hey family, like I'm just gonna give you an update on me and then we can like do it and you can talk and it can be very cool. So there's that. Okay, so getting outside is really helpful. We are still allowed to go on hikes and we are still allowed to go walking outside. Um, I've seen a lot of footage of people like letting their kids play with other kids at like, um, like playing basketball or anything like that. And I think that that's a little not Cool. Like we're supposed to be six feet away from each other. So I would really definitely listen to what your city is telling you to do. Listen to what, you know, the country is telling you to do. Be really safe if you're gonna go outside. 
But if you go outside, just, you know, be mindful of other people around you. Go for a long walk, get some fresh air, you know, get your body moving, which is a huge part of staying sane when you have cabin fever. Most of it is that your body is just tired from sitting and laying down and taking so many naps. It just needs that oxygen pumping through your blood and your muscles to actually feel alive again. Okay, so the next thing is reading. <laughs> some of you like to read and then some of you don't, and that's cool. I am a huge reader. I'm a big book nerd. Um, everybody knows that if you know me, I'm like always reading something. Um, I also like to write. But reading is kind of this perfect, like there's a scene in a movie called The Holiday and I love that Cameron Diaz is like going away for vacation and she brings all of these books that she's bought and she's like gonna read her books and then she never does. So I think that's kind of like how we all are. Like I downloaded all of these books or I actually bought all these books off Amazon and they're collecting dust in a pile. This is the time, this is the time to read them. Like you should read them and actually learn something or just get yourself out of your head with a really great fiction book. Reading is great. With that, maybe it's time to flex your writing muscle. Maybe you have a novel you've been meaning to start or finish or create. Maybe you have a screenplay, same thing. Uh, a pilot you've been writing, you know, we're all in LA here. This is kind of what we do. Um, this is the time, guys. Like, I know most writers, huge procrastinators. I'm feeling it right now myself, actually. But it's a really great opportunity to create a schedule for yourself. We have nothing to do, nowhere to be. Create a writing schedule for yourself where you wake up, you turn your computer on, and you actually just start writing. And some of you know what this is, but some of you don't. It's called Morning Pages. It's from a really famous book called The Artist's Way. And morning pages are basically pages that you write first thing in the morning to get all the crap out. So like, oh gosh, like my spouse is killing me today. Or like, oh, the kids are so noisy. Like, I don't know how to do this. And you get all the stuff out, right? And then you get it off your chest and then you're actually freed up to write real stuff like your screenplay or like your book. And then you can really just like be open to that channel of the muse coming through and coming out. So writing, whether you're a writer or not, is actually something kind of cool and very cathartic. You could even just write in a journal and journal writing is so nice. Like I think, you know, maybe some of you think or some of us think that it's kind of something you did when you were a kid. Like I journaled when I was 16 years old about the boy I liked, but it's actually quite cathartic and I have been journaling since I knew how to write. And it's also very similar in the sense of like morning pages where you're just getting your stuff out and it doesn't have to sound good and you don't even have to read it back. You just get it off your chest, move on with your day and create something. Okay, and the last thing is self-care. I mean, let's face it, we have so much time on our hands right now. Uh, it's time to take a bubble bath. It's time to do that facial. It's time to do yoga. It's time to like take as many naps as you want because you can and no one's gonna get mad at you for it. Like nobody, because <laughs> they're gonna be napping with you. Like you and your hubby just two o'clock in the afternoon, why not? Or other things, whatever, self care. <laughs> just enjoy this time and don't feel guilty for it. So many of us are just so guilty of not getting all the stuff we need to get done and blah, 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 blah. I mean, what do you have to do right now except cook, eat, and sleep? I, I, nothing, you have nothing to do. We have nowhere to be. So really take that time to like, do whatever feels right for you. Go start meditating or pick up your meditation practice. Or if you're still meditating, like you should be, <laughs> just be meditating, but do what is really good for you that's gonna feed your soul. Okay guys, that is my cabin fever article in a video. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna do this with a couple more videos um, or articles that I'm making into videos. And if you like it, you can go to my YouTube channel, which is at Reluctant Housewife or something like that on YouTube. It's just Reluctant Housewife, you'll see it. <laughs> also, if you haven't already um, followed me, for your reluctant housewife on Instagram, please go ahead and do that. Um, I'm always posting videos or articles or really cool quotes. Um, yeah, 
guys, just stay healthy and I'll see you next time.